Well, hi, everybody, and welcome to Lightroom Tip Tuesday. Today, we are going to look at how to smooth skin and a great way to do it all inside of Lightroom. So let's take a look. All right, here we are in Lightroom Classics Develop Module. We're going to start to smooth the skin by clicking on the masking icon. Now, give it a few seconds and you'll see this little icon appear, which is using facial recognition to figure out, oh, there's a person in this shot. And then we have all of these things that we can choose to mask. We're going to mask her skin. Skin. So facial skin and body skin, those two, you can have more than one, just hit the check boxes that you want, right? And then go click on create mask. Alrighty, now all we want to do is soften her skin. So we're going to go down here and there's a number of ways to do this, but this is probably the best one. We're going to go to the texture slider. Now we're going to drag the texture slider way, way, way. In fact, we'll just start off by going all the way to the left. So what does this do? Well, according to Adobe, this applies a type of skin softening that is similar to what you get with frequency separation in that it still leaves skin texture. It just doesn't blur it out, you know, like you would, you know, with using a Gaussian blur or something like that and let's look at let's do a side by side let's hit the letter Y and let's do a side by side so you can see the difference here on screen let me move so you don't see the icons but you can see the difference side by side and let's even go in a little closer so you can really see the difference here side by side there you go with the with the skin softening now I, I went to uh, minus 100 that's probably a bit much but I wanted you to be able to clearly see the amount but you can dial in the amount using the texture slider right there and it's just a fast easy pretty effective way to get some reasonable skin smoothing but but beyond just the skin smoothing because she doesn't really need her skin move, smooth right but what it does is it smooths the gradations on her face from as it's moving from shadows to highlights it smooths the gradations so you can say well she doesn't really need skin smoothing that's true but it does make a, the lighting look much better and the gradations on the skin much smoother so that's why I think this is, is an even more important technique uh, just for making better looking portraits. So there you go. Hey, thanks everybody. And thank you for watching this Lightroom Tip Tuesday.